Hello and welcome, I'm your code Mickey. And well, it's crazy how time flies. For some reason in May I have four separate birthdays. I say for some reason just because all these things weren't really planned to happen in May, it just randomly happened. There was something that happened one year ago, something seven years ago, then 12 years ago, and 37 years ago. Now the first one is how last year I did a very interesting experiment. I made some game dev report videos. This was a fun format to try out. It was definitely very different. This is where I talk about the latest game dev news and any interesting articles. It was definitely a fun experiment. It was a fun format to try out. It allowed me to play with recording things with a camera as opposed to my webcam. It allowed me to do some fun things with green screen, virtual production, and so on. So yep, that was a fun project, a fun little experiment. In this first video, back then, Unity I had just come out. Then I covered some interesting Unity tutorials and ebooks. Someone made a Joker game that looked absolutely awesome. Then new Atlas Robot, that one had just come out. And the game Rusty's Retirement was also a mega hit at that time. Now I enjoyed making these videos quite a lot, but they are a ton of work. It requires a ton of editing and it's quite complex to record, setting up the whole thing and so on. So because of that, I end up only making pretty much three of those videos. I wish I could do this format more regularly, but I still have not found a way to make it really fit my schedule and my workflow. However, whilst I can't really edit videos kind of like this, what I can do is just write. So yep, on the 20th of May of last year, that's when I started my Game Dev Report newsletter. That's when I published the very first issue. The concept is really very much the same, so the latest Game Dev news and interesting articles, except it's just sex, meaning it's much easier for me to actually produce. Since then, I've been posting one newsletter every single week without fail. Every single Sunday, I post something new. Writing this has honestly been pretty great for me. I need to research in order to write for this newsletter. So basically, that forces me to stay up to date with what's going on in the industry. I definitely don't want my skills to atrophy, so doing something like this kind of helps me stay sharp. I've learned a lot myself by reading all of these articles and writing all of this. So yep, it has been one year since I started writing this newsletter. I really enjoy doing all the research, so I definitely intend to continue writing it for many years in the future. If you've been reading from the very beginning, or if you just started reading, then thank you. I hope you have found it very interesting and educational. And if you haven't read it yet, you can go ahead and sign up with the link in the description. Like I said, every Sunday you get some nice game dev news and interesting articles sent to your inbox every single week. Then the next birthday was seven years ago, and this one was actually this YouTube channel. I published my very first video, the How to Make a Hell System. This was published on the 15th of May, 2018. So if it's really crazy how it's actually been this long, I generally don't really remember what my life was like before I had this channel. It feels like I've had it since forever. It feels like I've always had to think about what video I'm going to publish next. It feels like I've always had to go through a ton of comments every single day and answer all kinds of questions. Except, of course, that's obviously not the case. There was a time when all I was doing was really just making games. So I wasn't really interacting with anyone else. I was certainly not teaching anything. I was really just learning by myself, working by myself, that was it. Now you can go ahead and watch my very first video, basically if you want to cringe. My voice sounds absolutely horrible. I was clearly pretty terrified whilst recording in front of a microphone. I was very, very inconfident as I was recording this video. Although I have to say that the information in the video, that one is still high quality. All the code for this health system, that is still really great high quality code. In fact, you can actually check out the health system that I include in my very recent CodeMonkey toolkit. And you can see how the code that I wrote in there is 90% the same as the code that I wrote in this tutorial that was seven years ago. There's really only been a handful of changes. So for the most part, back then I already had a pretty nice code quality. Which of course, that's really not surprising, that makes sense, considering how by the time that I started this channel, was actually five years after I had been making games. I started this channel in 2018, my first team game was in 2013, and actually even before that, I was making Flash games for five years prior, so by the time that I published this video, I already had 10 years of experience in game development. So that is why the information over here still is pretty accurate. My skills as a programmer were already pretty good back then, however, I had absolutely terrible presentation skills. Which I guess if you're looking for a positive take, this is really a great example of the power of experience. If you're just a beginner programmer and you get impressed or amazed by the code that I write nowadays, by how I can seem to make all these complex systems without any issue, if so, then really just remember how everyone starts from nothing. You can go watch this video in order to see how I started very much from zero when it comes to presenting, when it comes to making YouTube videos. My presentation style is definitely much, much better nowadays. Back then, I was super stressed while recording. I was basically having a permanent panic attack any time that I had the microphone in front of me. I think I recorded this first video about four times before I actually published it. It really just sounded terrible, and even the final version still sounds pretty bad. But nowadays, thankfully, I'm much better. I can speak much more naturally onto the microphone, and of course, I can actually use the camera nowadays. That was another thing that took me about five years of making these videos, making this channel, before I got the courage to be able to use a camera. So this video and my progression through all these years, that is really some very clear proof as to how you can always improve. In my case, I got much better as a presenter and educator over the course of 800 videos. In your case, perhaps if you are a beginner programmer, you can also become an expert programmer. You can also gain a ton of knowledge and become much, much better, much more skilled. All it takes is really just consistency. I definitely did not get much better from the first video onto my second video, but over the course of 800 videos throughout all of these years, 
by making all these videos, by doing all that, I definitely improved quite a lot. So again, for you, if you're learning programming, if you write a ton of code, if you make a ton of games, I guarantee you will gain a lot of skills and you will be much, much better. Then for my third birthday, this one is how my first team game, Survivor Squad, also came out in May. In this case, it was in 2013, so that was 12 years ago. Although if you go on Steam, the release date does say November. That is really just because that was the Steam release date. Back then, Steam Greenlight was a thing, so first I had to release the game just on my website, and then eventually went on to Steam, and the release on my website was indeed on May of 2013. So yep, this was the game, Survivor Squad, 12 years ago. Before this, I was making Flash games. And then 2013, that was when I finally transitioned to making Steam PC games. The game is a nice top-down strategy action game. Honestly, I still really enjoy the core mechanics nowadays. The core mechanic being the field of view mechanic. Basically, you can't see anything that is behind you. So you need to manage all of your survivors, make sure everyone is looking in a different direction so you basically don't get blindsided. The game is definitely unpolished and definitely a bit buggy. Again, it was my first proper Steam games. But in terms of concept and mechanics, honestly, I still think that the game does hold up nowadays. If you want, there's a game bundle on my website that includes a bunch of my games. You can go ahead and get that if you want to try it out. Now in this game, thankfully, the game did much, much better than I ever anticipated. It was definitely more money than I expected. It was a lot more than any of my Flash games. It was finally an amount that was enough to live. So from that point on, I basically became a professional indie game developer. I moved out of my parents' house and I was basically working by myself, working on my games. I was building games, putting them on Steam, getting sales, and basically making enough money to make a nice living. I really enjoyed doing that, I really enjoyed making nothing but games. But at the same time, I didn't really enjoy working on the exact same project for 15 months straight without change. I'm interested in so many things, and that is partly the reason why I started this channel. Over here, I can make videos, and videos are much smaller than an entire game. It doesn't take 15 months to make a single video. So with this channel, I basically had a way to explore multiple different ideas throughout the course of a year. Nowadays, over the course of one year, I can cover hundreds of different topics. I can research all kinds of things and make all kinds of fun prototypes that I wouldn't really be able to do if I was just making games full time. Making games is still fun and I still definitely enjoy it. And if I had infinite time, I definitely would love to both make tons of videos for this channel and make tons of games. But since I have to choose that choice, at least right now, I really much prefer making videos. But I definitely still want to make games. In fact, later this year, I was planning on getting back to Total War Liberation. I still hope I can do that. So 12 years ago was another important time in my life. And for the final birthday, that one is actually simply my birthday. I will be turning 37 years old later this month. Looking at my YouTube stats, it appears that I'm older than the majority of you. Most of the audience is within the 18 to 34 age bracket, which I guess is kind of funny. Personally, I'm still not really used to being older than other people. When I look at myself in the mirror, I still see mostly the exact same 20, 25 year old that I used to be. Although the fact that my beard is definitely getting more and more white, that does prove that time does not stop. I have a friend of mine that always said that life begins a massive downtrend as soon as you hit 30, and I always very much disagreed with him on that. Honestly, I don't really consider myself old. I certainly don't feel old. Physically, I'm much better than I was in my 20s. Back then, I did not work out. I did not go to the gym at all. At one point in my early 20s, I weighed 100 kilos, and I had pretty much basically 100% body fat. Whereas nowadays, I can bench 120 kilos. I definitely couldn't do that in my 20s. Nowadays, I can run a marathon. I couldn't do that in my 20s. So if you are in your 20s or late 20s, and if you are afraid of reaching your 30s, if so, then I would say, if you make an effort, you can definitely make sure that your 30s are much, much better than your 20s. I can say that has certainly been the case for me. My 30s have been infinitely better than my 20s. And I look forward to continue working very hard, both on my professional life, as well as my fitness and personal life. And I'm looking forward to my 40s being even better than my 30s. So yep, these are my four birthdays this month. Again, it's kind of funny how it wasn't planned. It just so happened that all these things happened in Mays of various previous years. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sometimes it's fun to look back and see everything that you've accomplished. So you yourself definitely take some time to look back, see how much you've grown over the past few years. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.